by now, many people have felt some of the consequences of this government shutdown, but no one has felt the consequences more than the family members of 63-year-old Joe Elliott Blakesale, or ba Blakes Lee, I apologize. She has been missing since mid-September when she went on a trip to the Craters of the Moon National Monument, and there, there was a search effort for her. However, about 16 staff employees have been furloughed as a result of the government shutdown, so they stopped searching for her for one day but now family members have found volunteers that are basically searching for her at this very or on this very treacherous terrain. So we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, another woman that was with her on that trip was found dead. So the family does feel that, you know, the chances of finding this woman alive are very slim, but they want to find her nonetheless. So they're asking for volunteers. So family was great about it. I mean, they said, look, we only want you to come if you're really experienced because we don't want to risk anybody else's life or, or health uh, trying to look for her, which is an amazing thing to say when it's your family member that's on the line. They're there. looking for people that are comfortable hiking 10 to 12 miles, mm -hmm. treacherous terrain. And climb a 1,000 feet at a time. So uh, now the government shut down. Look, one of the upsides of the government shutdown uh, and it's very, very few, of course, is people recognizing what the government does. Now, that's why I wanted a complete government shutdown. If you're going to shut it down, shut the whole thing down, then you don't get your Social Security check, and we can't pay the military, and uh, you know, uh, there's no air traffic control, so all airplanes stop, there's no food safety, and it's an epic disaster. So then people go, oh, right, we kind of need the government. Mm -hmm. Of course we do, right? Instead, what we have is these partial government shutdowns where Republicans get to joke around like, ah, what do you need the government for anyway? Oh, the, oh, the federal government shut down its Twitter uh, handle. Oh, who cares about the government? Well, look, even in this limited shutdown, turns out there's a lot of instances where you need the government, and the park rangers would have helped at least try to save her life, and now they're ordered to go back home. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's a weird law, but apparently they cannot volunteer. do. They cannot volunteer to do something that they were being paid to do. So they, now look, my reading of the article was that some folks have done so anyway. Some of the park rangers still seem to be out there, uh, and that's the decent thing to do. But by law, they're not supposed to be. And, uh, and that's why we have park rangers, and that's why we pay taxes, so that if one of us is lost somewhere, that we don't leave people behind, that we don't go, oh, well, sad day, okay, I guess they died and move on with our lives. I don't really understand the people that make the argument that we need as little government as possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't believe in overregulation. I don't believe in having a massive government, but there are certain uh, elements of society that government is necessary for. So law enforcement is a simple example of that. I know that there are volunteer fire uh, fighters in rural areas, but for a lot of big metropolitan areas, firefighters are very, very necessary and they're run by the government. Um, you also need the government to run prisons because if you don't have the government running prisons, you're gonna have for-profit private prisons that are a complete and utter disaster. The government is important when it comes to certain things, certain things where a profit motive would be disastrous. Um, so so I, I, I hate that we need a government shutdown to make people understand that, but you're right, Jenk, like this partial government shutdown I don't think makes people realize the full scope of what the government does to keep society running. What would we do if we didn't have the government working on our infrastructure? It's defunded right now, or underfunded right now, but what, we would have private corporations build our infrastructure, and then what, you'd have to pay for using every single road? And like in this example, let's say you get lost in a park, which is normal, it happens, right? And most of the time we wind up finding people and bringing them back to safety. So if it was all privatized, so if you're rich, then you know you can afford the helicopters for people to come and help you, et cetera. But if you're middle class or poor, sad day for you, you die in the woods, mm -hmm. okay? That, is that the government we want? Is that the society that we want? Look, government is a, it, is a simple way of explaining it. It's the collection of all of us getting together and deciding to act together instead of individually. So is that necessary? Of course that's necessary from time to time. At the same time, it's not to say that you shouldn't be careful about the government because also as a matter of nature, the people that run the government eventually will want more and more power, right? So you have to check that power while at the same time continuing the services that government is there for. Now that's a tough balance to strike, but that's the balance we have to strike. Right now, unfortunately, a lot of Republicans argue for extremes on both sides that actually hurt things. Very little government services, so you don't get the essential things that you need. And 
whoever's in charge gets to abuse all of their power by listening in on us, warrantless wiretapping, surveillance, giving the money to the oil companies, the banks, etc., etc. We're in worst of all worlds. We need to get back into balance.